And let's bring him in. Uh, let's bring in Mike Cosi. Good morning there, Mike. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm going to make uh, a, an astute baseball observation and, and see if you agree with me, okay? All right. Now, uh, my observation is this. I didn't watch the whole game last night. I watched part of the Yankee game. Uh, even if your pitcher gives up uh, three runs, if you have bases loaded and you're down three to one and there are no outs and you have your big hitter coming up in a batter, why not try a bunt, a squeeze play, when you've got the guy up at bat who supposedly knows how to bunt and can run like hell towards first base. To Who's try, this? Um, uh, Gardner. Uh, he was batting first, and, uh, of course, Stanton was batting second. So the bases are loaded. There's no out. You're down two runs. You're having trouble scoring runs. Why not try to push across a run or force a mistake? It, for the same reason why Tampa Bay didn't bunt against them last week in the 11th inning when they had bases loaded and no outs. Why? They don't do it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. You're, you've got you've got Didi Gregorius. You've got three of your top hitters out. Okay, three of your top hitters are out. You've got substitute hitters basically in there. You're trying. You're having trouble scoring runs except for home runs. You you got to try to make something happen sooner or later. That's been their mo the entire season. They don't hit home runs. They don't win. They don't mm-hmm. score. Well, it's not, not something that just happened because Judge is out. It's, they haven't done it all year. Yeah. When Judge and everybody's in their lineup, if they don't hit home runs, they don't score runs. I just think that uh, unless you try to force mistakes and force teams into situations, they're never going to go there. Why don't teams bunt continuously when C.C. Sabathia yeah. is pitching? Yeah. No, they right. just don't do it. Yeah. They don't play baseball anymore. Yeah. They play Stratego baseball where you, you have to hit home runs and the crowd goes yay instead of getting bunts and making things happen in the field, which is what baseball is all about. Uh, I, I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%, but I, would, I, I noticed that last night before I went to bed, and that was, that was early in the game. But anyways, so the Yankees lose, and, uh, and the Red Sox were losing and then came back, and so Yankees slip oh, another. the Red Sox destroyed the team yeah. last. They, they won 14-6. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so the Yankees slip into the game behind. I just, and if I, you look at it, the Yankees should have got swept by the White Sox, which, which is a calamity in itself. Yeah. Um, the second game of the series, uh, they should have lost. And that, luckily they didn't because they hit two home runs late in the game or else they go down in that game. They only had one hit, um, what was that, Tuesday night into, through the sixth inning. Then they hit two home runs and won the game. Last night they hit no home runs, they lost the game. It, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I did some, some math last night, and uh, the Red Sox have 28 games, the Yankees have 29, and the A's have 28. If Boston goes 14-14, and 14, which you know they're going to do better than that, the Yankees have to go 23-6 and six to catch them. That's not happening, so you can throw that out the window. If the Yankees go 15-14, and 14, the A's have to go 19-9 and nine to pass them for the play-in game, to host the play-in game. And if you look at the schedule of both teams, um, the A's have 14 games out of their last 29 with teams that are plus 500 records. Um, the Yankees have 16 games out of their 29 against teams that have better than a 500 record. And Oakland plays the Yankees three times. And the Yankees play Boston six. So those nine games right there are going to determine whether the Yankees host the, the play-in game or not. Um, Seattle's playing awful right now. They, they need to like, really go really nuts to pass the Yankees up. So the Yankees look like they'll get that wild card berth now. But um, whether they host it or not is pretty much yet to be determined. And the way they're playing now... I don't know who knows who they can beat. I don't know. With all the troubles they're having now, they're still eight and three. They're not getting pitching. I know. They're pitching's it, it, there. They're not getting pitching. With all the troubles they're having, they're still eight and three over their last eleven games. And who's to say that when those other players come back, they're going to play better? Yo, I agree because with you on that. I agree Sanchez with you on that. Sanchez is hitting two hundred. 
Gregorius you're going to get production of. And with Judge, you don't know what he's going to be able to do, if he's even going to be able to swing the bat like he used to because of the injuries that he had. So, you know, all teams have injuries. The, the, the Red Sox had a bunch of injuries this year and last year. The Yankees had none last year. Now it's their turn to get injuries, and they have to play through it. If they don't, they can't win. I think they have played through it the last time. I mean, they had 33% of their of their starting uh, uh, hitting lineup is out of the bat, and they're, they're like I said, they're eight and three in the last 11 games. The Red Sox had more than 33% of their lineup up out for an extended period of time this year too. Yeah, uh, I know they did not. Not, not. Oh yeah, they did. Uh, Look how many games Devers lost. Look how many games. Not at the Betts same time. Lost. Not at the same time. Not oh yeah, the they were. Time. Uh, no, 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 you're wrong. Take a look at those stats. Check the lineup the last time the two of them played each other. None of those guys were in the lineup. No, I'm just telling you, check ch- check your stats. You're wrong about that. You're wrong. Oh, well, well, you, you got to play the team that's on the field. Yeah, I no, I agree with that. I agree with that. I have no problem with that. All right, how did you do with Saratoga yesterday? Um, Swamp Rat came up short in the stretch, but um, Pletcher unveiled a, a maiden in the stakes race yesterday. The name of the horse is Opry. Uh, that paid 980 in that same race, and this horse can be any kind of a horse the way this horse won. Uh, got left at the gate, stumbled out of the gate, was dead last, and they just ran by everybody like they were tied to a pole. So uh, we didn't run good, but this horse, Opry, I'm betting you see this horse in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile at uh, Churchill on the turf come November. Um, very, very good horse got um, unveiled yesterday by Todd Pletcher late in the meet. All right, so what's your pick for today? Um, lousy card today, bad weather. I'm going in the uh, fourth race, 50,000 uh, 50, claimers, six and a half on the dirt. I'm going with this horse, Zombie. Uh, won three out of his last four since this horse started getting treated with Butte, um, albeit against Iowa Breds at uh, Prairie Meadows. Um, Moquette's having a pretty decent meet up at Saratoga as well as Santana, the jockey. So uh, I'm going to take a shot today in the fourth race with the three-horse zombie. Zombie. Yep. All right, and if you lose, you won't be a zombie tomorrow. If I lose, I won't be a zombie tomorrow? I mean, if your pick doesn't come in. No, what do I care? That's right. Are you putting money on zombie? Probably not. All right. Don't have any money to put on (laughs) I know what that feels like. So now, uh, where else do you want to go in sports? Any place else? Um, yeah, um, o- Oakland got beat by Houston yesterday, so Houston just extended their uh, their lead, and, and Houston's back. Um, they had a bunch of injuries. They got their players back, and uh, they look like the immovable force once again. They won eight out of their last ten, and uh, they're scoring a bunch of runs again. So all's well in Houston, and um, with the healthiness that they have in their lineup now, and what happened to Oakland's pitching staff? Um, like I said, I think the winner of the World Series is going to come out of the West, and that'll be the Astros. And uh, the only, I think the only team that can um, take them out will be the Indians, and that's going to be a first-round matchup in the division series. So the Indians or the Astros leaning with the Astros to get it back to the World Series again. Like I said, against the Red Sox, um, you see some chinks in their armor, especially when you get them into the pen. Um, you're going to have the independability of uh, their left-handed ace when he comes to the mound with Price. So uh, as good as the, as the Red Sox played all year, once the season's over, everybody's odometer goes back to zero, and the regular season means nothing. So I'm still going with the Astros to win it all. All right, and I'm still going to get my pizza because Seattle's terrible. No, not a pizza, five bucks. We oh, gave me three to one with five dollars. Oh, no five pizza. Dollars? Oh, no pizza. That's right. You didn't, you can't. That's right. You can't spend pizza. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> I remember that. Now. You can't spend pizza. Yeah, no. the Yankees. They'll make the wild card. They'll be a one and done. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, you keep saying that because you kept saying that last year, and they went there within one game again to the World Series. Nah, they'll be one and done. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Who's going to pitch? Who's going to pitch? Yeah. Who pitched last year? They had a lousy pitching staff last year. No, who's going to pitch this year? It's worse. No, I think it's better with half of the other guy. I think it's much Good. better. Keep on smoking that peyote weed. I wish I had the peyote weed. I need it. 
I got football coming up with the Giants, too. Just remember that. Once I get past the Yankees, I got the Giants this year. Yeah, speaking of football, the Jets pulled, I think, a boner yesterday. Uh, they traded Teddy Bridgewater to the Saints. So all the way to the world goes on their rookie, Sam Darnold. Um, can I get a bet that he doesn't last a month? Yeah, got to keep a backup quarterback. Got to keep a backup quarterback. You're right. The most, most important position on a team. So they got rid of Bridgewater. They got rid of him early. Um, training camps haven't even busted up yet. Um, wouldn't you think that if you had any intentions to trade Bridgewater, you would wait until the season starts to see which big quarterback goes down and they're going to need a viable backup, which they don't have, and then you can trade Bridgewater at that point to get more for him? Yep. That's why the Jets are the Jets. J E T S Jets. Jets, Jets, Man, Jets. What a Jets. bad move that was. That you can guarantee this is going to come back and bite them. Yep. Absolutely. Guarantee it. All right, Mike, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Uh, Mike Cosby with a check on sports uh, today here on Robin Hood Radio.